Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked for the function h whose graph is given, state the value of each quantity if it exists. If it does not exist, explain why. So we have first some values regarding x is equal to negative 3. Right, that's these first four. So x is equal to negative 3 is right here. And we see that the function is doing this behavior right there. So let's turn that into limits and values of the function. So the limit as x approaches negative 3 from the left of h of x. Well, if we're coming from the left, which is what this minus sign refers to, we're coming here, 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 and then we're approaching this point. This point has a y value of 4. But you can see from the right, it's also approaching the same point, again, with a y value of 4. Since the limits from the left and right are equal to each other, that means the overall limit, the limit as x approaches negative 3 of h of x, exists and it's equal to this value 4. However, notice that at negative 3 itself, the point that they're all approaching, we have an open circle. This means the function does not exist at um, x is equal to negative 3. For that to be true, there would be a, need to be another point down here right? that's closed in, but there's not. So h of negative 3 does not exist. The function approaches 4 when you get towards that point, but at the point itself, it doesn't exist. Next, we have to look at the behavior as x approaches 0. As x approaches 0 from the left, denoted by the negative sign, we can see that it approaches this point right here with a y value of 1. That is opposed to x approaching 0 from the right, coming this way, it approaches a y value of negative 1. Therefore, since the function does not approach the same value from the left and the right, the limit does not exist, dne. However, h of 0 does exist because, like I said, we need a closed circle here for it to exist over here. We have that closed circle. At a y value of 1, that means that h of 0 is equal to 1. Next, we have the limit as x approaches 2 of h of x. We can see that we have from the left and the right, as we approach the value of x is equal to 2, we come to this point right here. This point has a y value of 2. And notice that this point has an open circle. So just like over here, since we don't have a closed circle, the value of h at 2 does not exist. If we look at x is approaching 5, that's over here. As x approaches 5 from the right, if we look at that, we can see that we're approaching this point right here. This point right here has a y value of 3. That is opposed to approaching 5 from the left, where we see the function oscillating back and forth tighter and tighter, and there's no way to determine if it's actually approaching a value. From the behavior right we have right here, it doesn't seem that way. It seems like it's forever bouncing between the values of 2 and 4. But either way, we can't even tell, so we say that the function does not exist.